how's it going? This is Tony. Hey, I just wanted to show you something that I think is an awesome find. I'm over at the Lakeland Antique Mall, and look what I just found. <laughs> More tiki's. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, six bucks. Totally taking that. And the one that I actually was looking for uh, for a bit. This is a uh, Ninja Warrior tiki. Look at that. So awesome. I just saw these guys online too. For six bucks, I can't say no. If you ever get a chance, the Lakeland Antique Mall is awesome. Uh, Lakeland, Florida, Antique Mall has so many vendors. It's one of my favorite places to look. So definitely come out here for sure. $15. Good fish float. Example, some really cool nautical stuff. Here's a big glass float. This one's actually a really good price, 30 bucks. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it today, but I might come back for that. Here's some good old beach stuff. Some more uh, nautical, more uh, fish floats. Definitely really cool. Oh, I love that brown barrel. That is so awesome. Wow. This is what I love about living in Florida. A lot of folks are into tiki. If not just tiki, like beach life and everything. Wow. So cool. And then of course you got your country here. But look at that. That is perfect. Another fish float. Awesome. So here is my Tiki score from the Lakeland Antique Mall. So here is the secret. Sometimes vendors don't know what they have. This is the case. So when I bought this little beauty here, and this is the Geisha Tiki mug, super cool. Um, I looked on the bottom and on her tag, it said vase. So the shop like booth owner basically thought that these were actually just vases but i mean if you look i mean you know they're tiki mugs because hey they've got a hole in the back and uh, the hole in the belly is for the straw <laughs> come on that's for that's, that's you know but hey i don't mean this in a bad way my wife sells and buys antiques and a lot of times when she's buying from um places where she gets them at a good cost they might not know what they have so a really big tip is educate yourself um, I knew going in, like, I literally, I picked it up and I was like, whoa, cool, Buddha Tiki. And I, I said to my wife, I'm like, you know, if I didn't, like, check out these things online and didn't do the research, I probably, from a far distance, this was sitting on a shelf, his belly was just kind of covered up. I would have just thought this was a Buddha statue. So I would have been just like that person. Uh, but no, no, these are Tikis. So I am super excited. So when you go around looking at stuff, just keep in mind that vendors, shop owners, they might not know what they have. Um, I am super stoked. Uh, the tiki's I got from Retro Planet, um, they actually had each one of these on their website as well. Um, so I don't think these are vintage 1960s, like rare tiki's, they're definitely not. But you know what, I, I love them, I enjoy them. This is super cool. Six bucks a piece, y'all, that is nuts. I'm super excited. Um, and also another thing is make sure that you always look inside and, uh, you know, we talked about the vase thing. Well, if you look inside Buddha here, there's some gunk. Yeah, there's definitely some gunk. Like, like somebody put flowers in Buddha and, uh, yeah, that's, you know, just, you don't want to pour your, your drink in that. I mean, let's all be sensible. Wash stuff. Get it from a goodwill. You definitely want to wash it. And then this was my other find. I'm super excited about this too. So this is just, it's a bamboo ceramic vase. I'm not vase, listen to me. I'm not talking about the vases here. They're not vases, tiki mugs. Uh, cer ceramic, basically bamboo uh, tiki container. I actually have a feeling that maybe this could have been with the tiki mugs because maybe someone might've put um, bar stuff on it. And that's what I'm using for. I'm actually gonna put napkins and swizzle sticks and stuff like that and put this on my bar. So I'm really excited about that. This was eight bucks. So 
but kind of a cool little theme here. Um, I, I'm, again, super ecstatic. Mr. Ninja, cannot beat that. He looks really cool. And you know, this wasn't something that I had to order online. It was awesome to find it in my local store. So definitely when you're out and about good hunting, and remember to go ahead and like, subscribe, and in the comments below, let me know what you think about these guys. If you have like a tip on how to find tiki's, um, let me know. And my advice is just do your research before you go out and really look in the nooks and crannies. I have been to this antique store, I probably go uh, once every two weeks and they're, they're my local antique store. And honestly, I've looked and I've never found tiki's there before. Uh, I found very tiki bar decor stuff, but first time finding mugs, so I'm super stoked. Anyway, y'all have a great day and thanks so much for watching.